Hi everybody, I'm Abby Cooper. This is Lewis Cooper, my writing assistant slash best buddy. Um, I am here today to share with you the first chapter of my book, Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones is about 12-year-old Elise who has this super rare skin disorder that I made up. So nobody panic, you're not gonna get it, it's not real. But it is very real to Elise. And in her skin disorder, the names that other people call her actually show up on her arms and her legs. So if somebody says, hi, you're weird, W-E-I-R-D, it actually shows up and the bad ones make her feel really itchy. So it's not a great time for Elise, but as you'll see, she does have people looking out for her, including a mysterious note writer who says they will help her if she does what they say. Dun, dun, dun. Just kidding. Well, not just kidding, because they really say that, but it's not scary. I just like to add dun, dun, dun to things. I think it's important. Anyway, chapter one is called Words, and it goes like this. Some people don't think one word can make a difference. They're wrong. Sure, some words need to be around other words to make sense. They need to hang out together in a book or a song or a text message, or else you're stuck wrinkling up your nose like, huh? That doesn't make any sense. But some words don't need others. They have big time serious meaning all by themselves. I knew that better than anyone. Like when it came to talking about me going to middle school this year, mom said it would be different. Dr. Patel said it would be challenging. Dad said it would be fine. They just needed one word each to sum up what they thought a whole year would be like. And so far, they were right. One word nobody used though? Mysterious. And right now, that was the most important word of all. I reached into my pocket and dug around until I found the folded blue paper again. <gasps> Maybe it was a letter from a secret admirer or a gift certificate to Soup Palace otherwise known as the best place on earth. Or maybe it was nothing at all, but it had to be something. It had my name on the front and it was taped to my locker. I was dying to open it, but even if I found a way to read it sneakily, Miss Sigafis would probably see me and read it to everyone or rip it up or something. And that's if she was in a good mood. I looked around the room thinking about words, different, challenging, fine mysterious. They were just words, but they could change my whole life. In fact, they already had. Dun, dun, dun! I hope you enjoyed the first chapter of Sticks and Stones. Check back soon for the first chapter of Bubbles.